that gets you uh, going in, in a mellow way and suddenly you were carried over, carried away by the mood that the music produces. And um, Carnaval is definitely where it's been most celebrated, the Marchionese. And it's, um, it's a, a type of, of music that has its origins in Portugal. That's uh, probably the least mestiza of, or mestiza of the genres here, because uh, it is quite white and it's quite European uh, in its origin. And in a way, it remained that way in Brazil for a long time. Uh, but curiously enough, right, Chiquinha Gonzaga, this composer who was a maestro, who was a conductor, who was a pianist, this fabulous, absolutely fabulous character in the history of Brazilian music. She was this total pioneer. Imagine a, a woman conductor, 1847, 1935, right? And politically engaged uh, for abolition, for uh, copyrights, uh, musicians' rights. Just this amazing. If you have time all day, just do a little research on Chiquinha Gonzaga. And um, this one is known by a lot of people, right? Carmen Miranda, right? Who was the, high, the, the highest paid woman in the United States for some years. Imagine, the highest paid. A woman from Brazil, born in Portugal, brought to Brazil as a baby, right? And she sang and made samba known worldwide, right? Through um, movies released by Hollywood, and through plays at uh, in in um, in New York, right, um, Broadway on Broadway, and uh, but before that, before she became this star, huge star in, in the United States, she was a huge star in Brazil, you know, and and she died prematurely. She was unfortunately overused by the system, you know, the system that wants to make money out of you, and we're talking Hollywood big time in the very worst days of Hollywood in that sense. You know, no respect for individuality, for lives, but money, making money. Right? And she married an impresario who was as greedy as he could be. This is Luis Gonzaga, who uh, brought forró, a, 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 an umbrella type of concept that congregates a whole lot of rhythms from the Northeast. I could list some 10, 12, for example, Frevo and Chachado and, and Baião itself, that was the first name in the south of Brazil, how it got um, going. But uh, there's shot to, and in the south of Brazil, in the southeast, Forró became the word for, for that huge umbrella, right? And a lot of the songs remote uh, bring us back to the plight of Northeasterners who left the Northeast to try their lives in, in the south of Brazil. So they had nostalgia, but they also had indictment of a system that exploited them so badly in the backlands, in the plantation system. You know? uh, and so this was very important in the history of Brazil in terms of bringing the Northeast to the spotlight, you know, and totally deserved it because nor the northeast of Brazil is this amazing realm of talent, you know, the, in the classic arts and music and so forth, right? She Rock Jolanda yeah. is, is one of one of the protest song uh, composers. Anything wrong? No, we no. Know. no. She's in love with him. Oh. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Is is um, an icon in, in Brazilian music. Somebody asked me, Dario, uh, why? No, how good is Brazilian music? How good? How meaningful it is to Brazil? You know. And I said, uh, not too long ago, I said, imagine if the United States had fifteen or twenty Bob Dylan's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is one of our, one of about fifteen Bob Dylan's of Brazil in terms of music talent and creativity and social engagement and, and wisdom translated to music. Mm -hmm. 
I have a video, unfortunately, a video, unfortunately, you may not have, have, may not have time, but that's when he composed a song with Gilberto Gil called Calice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was under tremendous censorship, yeah. right, under the military dictatorship. So the song was declared not okay to be performed, totally censored, 100% censored. But he and Gilberto Gil had the courage, yes, in 1973, you had to have a lot of courage to do anything against the military. Because you could be jailed, tortured, sent into exile, or killed. Who knows? A few bad choices, right? So he and Gilberto Gil performed this song in Sao Paulo, or tried to. You know, they started, and then the agents of the military started cutting the different microphones, uh -huh. and they would move to one microphone to another microphone, and all cut, all cut. Before that, before really running the risk of being caught, Gilberto Gil would just hum the chords of the song, but then Chico was daring enough to start singing, this is just, and this was caught, caught on video, right, 1973. The song was finally released in 1978. But in 1973, they ran that risk. Gil eventually was locked up, as some of you may know. He was locked up, he was not tortured, but he was in the solitary, and then sent him to exile to London with Gaetano Veloso. But that's a long story. This band, Still in the 60s, they are going with what's called tropicalism, right? So tropicalism is, or tropicalia, both names, right? And it's this cultural movement that was profound in terms of art philosophy, to art concept, because it had a lot to do with the concept of Dada, you know, Dadaism, and, and in form, it applied surrealism. Imagine, you know, the sophistication of the ideas behind, not to mention the, the type of musical talent of the people involved, such as these guys who were classically trained, and before they even performed to the big co crowds, they were, they were doing, they were recording classical music to rock and roll language on television. They managed to, you know, and basically, this is a movement against all movements, you know, in a way, in a da-da sense, you know, so they denied their own movement because they denied all movements, and they questioned all movements, and they questioned the, what's art, what's music, what's good taste, what's bad taste, you know, all those ideas, they were challenging while incorporating elements of music coming from any corners of the world, any social class, any tradition, you know, everything was free to use to apply in music. And so it's a very creative moment in Brazilian music that the United States eventually caught up with. The music of these guys, the music of Caetano Veloso and Gilberto Gil, as far as tropicalism is concerned, it was ignored in this country until 30 years later. Imagine it. John Perellis, a critic of music of the New York Times, looked, wow, and David Byrne went nuts with the repercussion that it had to hear. It was among cult, a cult population, but still, it opened up a lot of world music to the freedom of fusing of combining elements. A star with a beating bow, for example. What? Right? A, a, a sax with pandeiro. You know, the ability to, to do all that. This is one of the bands of rock and roll, big time in the 80s, Legião Urbana, and you have Paralamas do Sucesso, and no Traje a Rigor, you have Cazuza, who was gay, and out and produced this marvelous music, you know, that shook up the country, you know, in terms of criticism over bourgeois values, of middle class hypocrisy, and at the same time celebrating life as you could, since his life was dying out from AIDS. That was Cazuza, C-A-Z-U-Z-A. Cazuza. And this is Legião Urbana, with one of their songs that was in my mind, is Que País É Esse? Yeah. And this is uh, 
top questioning of all our values since, since everything, everything seemed to be going down the tube in the middle of the 80s in Brazil. Right? And then in the 90s, we have Olodum, we have Afro Reggae, we have music playing in a, in a fantastic role in social terms, in terms of getting communities together. You know, children, adults, old people, men, women, people of all ethnicities, all colors, all races, form different movements in Brazil. And Old Doom is one of the most successful. They started performing around the world. And Afereggae is another one with a lot of, with a strong base in social change, in education, in art opportunities for the poor. You know what I mean? And reggae, reggae base. Reggae was the biggest inspiration for them. I finish here with the beginning of the 20th century and this young singer-songwriter by the name of Cell, Sky, right, Cell, is just phenomenal. You know, she, she is a byproduct of, of Tropicalia because she mixes all these musical languages in such a way, with such talent. Her voice is fabulous and I, I want to play a couple of videos for you guys to see. Maybe, yeah, all right. So, Carmen Miranda, you're very familiar. And this is uh, Os Mutantes. Let's have a taste of it. So let's do it. Let's do it. No. O sol se reparte em três espaços naturais. Eu vou. Vamos cantar com o outro. This is a machine. Boys. Eu vou. Eu tomo uma Coca-Cola. Ela quer ser casada. 